Hi guys and welcome in a phone book in C Sharp. So basically in this series of tutorials I'm going to show you how to make a phone book in C Sharp and with the help of Microsoft SQL Server database. So in this very first tutorial um, I'm going to just create the C Sharp forms so that you get a clear image of how things are going to look like and work um, throughout our next tutorials. So um, you're going to want to open up your Visual Studio, create a new project. So this is the project I have phone book tutorial. So this is the first form that is created automatically. So what we're going to want to add here is two buttons. Okay, so this is our first form. We're now going to create a new form for adding a contact. So we're, we're going to go to Solution Explorer, right click on our project name, and click on Add and select Windows 4. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name it Add Contact. Okay. So basically, in this form, we're going to need five labels, four text boxes, two buttons, and one picture box. Okay, so this is the form for adding a new contact. Now we're going to create the form for viewing the contacts. So as the same way we created this contact, we're going to go to Solution Explorer, right click on our project's name, and we're going to add Windows 4, and I'm going to call it View Contacts. Okay, so for this form, we're going to need six labels, five text boxes, one button, one picture box, one group box, and one list box. Okay, so we're done with the view contacts. We're now going to um, create a new form for edit contact. So in the same way, we're going to Solution Explorer, right click on our project name, and add a new Windows form, and I'm going to call it edit contact. For this form, we're going to need five labels, four text boxes, three buttons, and one picture box.
Okay, so we have now finished the edit contact form. Uh, I'm gonna just go to the view contact again because I forgot to edit the uh, the size mode of this picture box. So I'm not gonna make it normal. I'm gonna make it stretch. All right. Okay, so that's it, guys. For now, we have created all of our forms. So see you in the next tutorial.